So hey there beautiful people. I'm excited today because a friend of mine by the name of Pilar is coming to talk to us about just some of the significant health issues that she went through and how she overcame them. She had some adrenal issues, some hormone issues, things that are really common that I see a lot in my practice and it is coming right up. So hey there, this is Libby Ford, registered dietitian, clinical and licensed nutritionist and nutrition detective. Like I said, I have a special guest today. Her name is Pilar and she is going to just tell you her story and some of the, the significant health issues that she went through and how she overcame them. And I'm so excited she's here. Hey, Pilar. Hello. <laughs> so tell us, tell us some of the issues that you struggled with, Pilar. So initially, I was referred to you because of my adrenal fatigue issues. I've had a couple of confirmatory tests, so it wasn't anything I was making up. Mm -hmm. um, I actually have lab results to, to prove that um, I was having some issues with my cortisol levels throughout the day. and I, They were just bottoming out after about 9, 10 in the morning, and I just mm -hmm. didn't feel well. It was going on for a lot of years, so that was my main reason. And can I just interrupt you yes. just to just to explain that cortisol actually it, they they rise in the morning and they continue to rise and then they start to go down at night and that's a a natural progression and that is an adrenal hormone and if you are your cortisol levels aren't normal, your life is not going to be pretty, right? Mm -hmm. no. Right, no, no. Tell us some no. of the, the, what was going on with the cortisol levels being so high. Um, well, I would wake up, I would feel fine, and then around mid-morning, I would be exhausted. I would mm -hmm. feel like I needed to take a nap. I couldn't focus. I couldn't concentrate. Exercising was a huge chore. Um, I wouldn't have a normal muscle fatigue after exercising, it was as if I had just run a marathon and mm. hadn't eaten in about a week. And wow. just the the extreme exhaustion, um, it was debilitating at times, but I just learned to push through it because yeah. that's what I do. That's right. um, but I got to the point where I couldn't take it anymore. Mm. And my husband mentioned Lindy, I gave her a call, and in completing paperwork and just in talking to her, I had been seeing an ENT for um, treatment of GERD, so that wasn't even on my radar, but it was on Lindy's radar. So Okay, so we need to just explain <laughs> what GERD is. Uh, GERD is, is a uh, gastrointestinal intestinal, um, esophageal reflux disease, so that just means that you have reflux, and normally people who have GERD or reflux are on something called a PPI, and you all know what a PPI is. Mm -hmm. It's a Nexium or a Prilosec. There are long-term implications, beautiful people, for being on these drugs. They are dangerous, and and I one of the things that I just love is getting people off of those drugs, but you have to do it very carefully and very, uh, very sustainably. So uh, that's something that we worked on, but it, is, it was something that we had to address. The other thing that Pilar was uh, dealing with was sleep. Tell us about your sleep. Oh, sleep. Mm -hmm. So I do travel for work and um, anywhere from three to four nights out of town every week, you know, four, four weeks out of the month. Mm -hmm. So my sleep over the past many several years, at least the past decade, has it suffered. Mm -hmm. um, that was another thing that Lindy addressed. Again, not on my hit list. I've just gotten used to living in a constant state of exhaustion. Mm -hmm. um, but Lindy was here to kind of help, help me work with that. Um, in addition to another thing that was not on my hit list was um, my hormone imbalance. Um, mm -hmm. I always knew my hormones were a little kind of up and down. Um, my menstrual cycles were sort of all over the place, but well within what I thought was a normal range, but not a normal range. Normal for me, <laughs> right. um, but in, in the big scheme, not normal. Um, so fill out the questionnaire and Lindy identified several areas of concern. So that was really one of the main things that she hit on right up front. Um, so it was asleep. And can I interrupt you on that? Yeah. So here's what you all need to know and need to remember is that if you have sleep issues, it's normally, it's like Polar wasn't even coming to me with these um, complaints, but when I started to identify some of the problems with her adrenals and her hormones, those are the number one, I don't know if you know this, the number one problem that I see in my practice with sleep is hormonal oh. imbalance and adrenal imbalance. You had them both. 
Yes. Sorry, girl. We had them both. <laughs> but um, the good part about that was that she knew something wasn't right. And she knew that she wasn't, I mean, this is not, this is a young person. She doesn't want to live like this. And I, I hear it all the time mm -mm. that people come to me and say, I have been, I've been dealing with this for like 15 or 20 years. And I, I think that I, what I think is I don't would want to deal with what you're dealing with for 15 or 20 minutes. And so oh. it's just, uh, it's, it's tragic sometimes, but it's great that she took the bull by the horns and she wasn't going to settle for bad health. Were you? I was not. No, I was not. And so she happy. wouldn't let me. No, <laughs> so. I won't let people do that because it makes me mad. But anyway, tell us some of, uh, Pilar, some of the actions that you took to overcome some of these things. Um, so the first thing I did was I followed Lindy's advice to AT. I didn't deviate from it because She's a good student. I, I just knew that life, I would just feel so much better. The quality of life, my quality of life would be so much better. So I knew going into this, I had to be all in, 100% committed. Um, but we did make baby steps because um, I didn't want to make mountains out of really what were molehills. So my right. diet was already pretty clean. Mm -hmm. um, it was. Sort of follow the 80-20 rule. I do enjoy mm -hmm. sweets so much. Mm -hmm. I have a sweet tooth. Um, but I was, I'm on a pescatarian diet. I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Um, one of the first things Lindy had me do was add even more fruits and vegetables, but remove those inflammatory foods. So mm -hmm. no potatoes, high sugar fruits, couldn't do those anymore. Um, and she did want me to try and incorporate some chicken and beef and things like that in my diet. And I'm not ready that I, I can't do that quite yet. So I, I just incorporated more, more seafood and fish. More seafood and fish. Um, so I, I did try to get my protein that way. Um, but within a week of really starting just switching up my diet and modifying my diet, eating the foods that Lindy was telling me about and doing some research on my own about what are those anti-inflammatory mm. foods? What are mm. those low glycemic index foods? Um, within a week, I noticed a huge difference. Um, in addition to all the supplements that Lindy had told me to start taking, um, good quality probiotics, mm. fish oil, um, a new multivite, Mm -hmm. a hormone supplement um, called Vitex, which mm -hmm. I will mm. never stop taking as long as I can take it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I have to, me too. Like when, you know, I, I'll probably have, uh, be holding Vitex as they put me in the grave. I mean, really <laughs> seriously, because, uh, and I'm going to do a video on that actually, but that's Chase Tree. Uh, the other word, the other name for it is Chase Tree. It's been around for thousands and thousands of years, but I, I just tell you real quickly, it's an herb that tells the pituitary gland, look around, it is not a hormone. It's just an herb, and it it just stimulates the pituitary to look around to see if there's not enough pro progesterone. Most, a oh, lot of my pa patients, I would say most of my patients don't make enough progesterone. That that creates PMS symptoms, and menopausal symptoms, lots of issues. So love that. It's a very inexpensive herb, and um, it's called Vitex or Chase Tree. But the other thing too is, you know, we're, we we had to stabilize her um, adrenals. Um, I didn't put you on too many supplements, but there were the ones that to get you off of the the PPI so yes. the next thing yep. of sex and those she doesn't have to stay on forever so they're, they're just a healing a gut healing protocol that I put all of my people on that are on those drugs because we need an overlapping therapy so that they can come off the very dangerous uh, drug or the mm -hmm. PPI uh, so what I want her to tell you guys is just um, some of the benefits that have happened to her since she took a natural protocol and ran with it. And she really was someone, I, I don't mind working with vegans or vegetarians at all, really don't. It's just that I want them to be really healthy and they need to get enough omega-3s, especially in their diet. Protein's not a problem. It's the omega-3s and the B12 that really are a problem with some of my vegetarians and my vegans. Vegan. So, um, so, but she was so, so willing to just embrace everything. You, you were just wonderful. <laughs> I wish I could clone this woman. I really mean that. Oh, and just embrace what I asked her to do and just, and just did it with such a great attitude. And it, and it has paid off for her, which I'm, I'm so excited. Tell us about some of the payoffs. Um, so one thing, um, was weight loss and it wasn't, she didn't need to lose weight. Folks. I really didn't. Um, she did not. But you know, on that same end, I feel like a lot of that weight wasn't so much mm. physical weight. It was inflammation. Yes. Um, yes. I just, I feel lighter and leaner. Um, and I, I don't feel like my clothes fit too, too much more differently, but I can tell that the inflammation has sort of 
left my body. I don't yes. feel as puffy or as bloated and just heavy like I used to. Um, my mental clarity has improved a thousandfold. Um, I used to have to really be laser beam hyper focused all day, every day. My job is very analytical mm, and I'm constantly thinking and analyzing and noticing trends. And um, now I realize I can do that with a little less mental effort. It took a lot of concentration to be able to do that before. And it was mm. mentally and emotionally exhausting. I didn't know that. Oh, it I, was. I did not know that. Wow. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a lot, but my, my focus has really, really improved. My mental clarity has improved my moods. I've always been a positive, yes, positive she helpful is. person, <laughs> but I don't know, you know, maybe this gut health, I knew it was important, but I didn't know how important it was. And I, I do feel a huge difference in my moods. Um, it, I feel, I feel just happy and grateful and thankful. And I was happy, grateful and thankful before, but now You're it's happier. It's grateful, different. More grateful. And oh, thankful. I'm grateful for Lindy. Um, <laughs> very much so. Um, but my moods just seem to be a lot more Maybe even yeah, heal. and mm -hmm. and I'm not a moody person. No, or you're, a not. Person, but <laughs> you're not. You're yeah, not. I just feel. But it was better. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like um, I handle stress and anxiety a lot That's better. Good. There's those sharp edges. Yeah. yeah, there's those sharp edges have just mm -hmm. they've been smoothed out. So. Yeah. A lot of that is just adrenal health, folks. When our adrenals are not firing in all cylinders, we are going to feel that edginess. You know, mm -hmm. we're not going to feel as smooth because they are like shock absorbers in the body. They are they handle all of our stress. Mm -hmm. So anyway, pull our real quickly. Just give us give our people out there the best advice um, about just nutrition nutritional protocols, just, just things that if you were just sitting and talking to them over coffee, what um, would you say? Um, so you have to be ready to, mm -hmm. that, that whole saying, it, it's kind of, you know, a bit cliche, but you have to be sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. Mm -hmm. You have to be at that point mm -hmm. or else this may not work for you. Mm -hmm. You, you know, Lindy is, has been the best investment in my own self. She is an investment into me. I want to feel better, I want to be better, I want to do better, and, and I have. And so when you get to that point and you go all in, follow her guidance, try the new supplements. Um, if, you, if your diet, it might be abysmal, <laughs> um, start slow, mm -hmm. Inc incorporate more fresh foods, little mm -hmm. by real little. Real food, like real food. Uh, yes, right. real fruits That's... and vegetables and, and mm -hmm. greens and, and lean proteins, mm -hmm. and it's not that expensive to buy Even fatty food. proteins, I'm okay with those too. <laughs> I know Pilar doesn't do that, but I, no, I'm I okay. With it. I, I, <laughs> I know, oh. I know. That's another. That's a whole other video. We um, won't get into that one. No. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just real food, guys. Just eat real, real food that comes from the earth, you know, mm. which is is so important. And um, I love what she said about inflammation. You know, what we're finding, what scientists are find, finding now is that most diseases really are a product of too much infl inflammation. Yeah. And just, did you hear what she said, guys? That she just felt lighter. She just felt, she didn't need to lose weight, but she just felt like the inflammation had gone down. That is just golden. Mm -hmm. That is golden. That's how I actually have felt since my body has, has gotten a lot healthier. It's just, there's just not that issue with inflammation anymore. So well, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, and I also thank Pilar for just joining us and, and, and imparting some of her wisdom with you all. And just remember that no one needs to live in a constant state of any kind of disease or distress in your body. You don't need to live that way. And um, you don't need to be living off of medication either. Most of us just don't need that for the long run. It's kind of a short term, uh, a short, a short term remedy, but not really for the long run. And um, so if you like this video, you like Pilar, you have to like Pilar. Who doesn't? Who doesn't like Pilar? Um, um, put a thumbs up on this video and please follow me on Facebook and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Just going to be posting tons of great things in 2018 that you are wanting, you're going to want to be a part of. And also I'm on Instagram and Twitter too. So please, uh, please follow me on that. And remember that everybody, every single person deserves to be optimally healthy. Thanks.